Hi, Cherie Hansen here. I'm reading to you from my blog from March 30th, which has now accumulated 57,800 subscribers. Everything does not exist. I've been surrounded by some people recently who are ill. He or she has had a relationship fracture, a dear life partner has been caught by a disease, or the body turning upon itself. Meanwhile, the social media feed has become a virtual sewer pipe of toxic waste thoughts. The environment is under attack. Political systems are like a dissatisfied person sitting on a bar stool. Random flirtations with something new, looking for answers in all the wrong places. Children of only the select few are protected. Women's rights are being eroded so much it is like watching a glacier recede. The society is time traveling back to the 50s. Naomi Wolf in her book, Vagina analyzes the fear-based resistance that arises when women are gaining power. It accounts for much of the current clawbacks of equality. An issue that has people in a state of disbelief is the strategy of passive genocide. From the earliest days in American history, the settlers embraced the concept of outward signs of inner grace. And in today's political climate of the billionaire Congress, there is a reversion to the old philosophy which has always run underground. If a person is selected by God, that person will be male, that person will be white, that person will be physically attractive, that person will be healthy. And lastly, the badge of God's love comes with the presence of wealth. The removal of protection from the weak, the ill, the deformed, the outcasts, those who are not a mirror image of the white male billionaire model is the logical result of the philosophy of grace and damnation. Passive genocide works. Street people die in the cold. Drug addicts overdose in the system of selectivity. The lower classes have a high, highest infant mortality rate in history. The uber rich are having new hearts popped in like a simple battery change. Hips, knees, shoulders, kidneys, facelifts, breast renewal options float around in this select group. At the same time, so many are in free fall out of the middle class because of the lightning strike of one single illness. A factory closes, a job ends, and with it, the entire structure of a life crashes to earth. The greatest darkness that a social system can carry is the blindness to the understanding that no single person or family or class must earn the right, has to earn the right to be included. Care and protection is a birthright. And it is in those countries that have the vision of equality that economic success is at its most vibrant. The soul of a nation can be blighted. Slavery, native Indian genocide, racial hatred is a deep sickness that will be carried within the history of a country. The first step in creating a world that is calm, a world that is safe is to address the soul sickness that is held within the nation's story. Compassion, inclusiveness, equality, commitment to humanity are the real outward signs of inner grace. 
Inevitably, each person and each nation selects a philosophy, selects a cosmology, selects a belief system to reside within. It is a time when each of us must select a way of moving in the world if there is to be a world which survives us. We all count. We all count. And when the pieces start falling into place, everything will begin to heal. The earth, countries, and those people who believe that they are locked into some victim energy will be settled and whole. It is coming. It is coming. Thank you.